there's my boy James. Yeah. I want to give you a little quick tour of the National Funeral Museum. There's tons of different hearse here. These are, of course, like horse buggy hearse. One of a kind, most unique things I've ever seen. Oh, man. A glass coffin. Oh, did you see the Snow White coffin? No. You did it? What the hell? Oh, dude. Bruh. You missed so much. They used to call these hearse you know when they got rid of the horses they called them horseless carriages yeah wow, see that's good that's I was in here all alone James had to take a phone call outside there was one point where I legit thought that you said hi to me or something or you were like hey there was a man that was shook to his core after he walked by one of the caskets and it started moving violently wow. like shaking like chur, 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 chur. i noticed a couple of things while i was here dude there was this one part where there was banging on the wall uh -huh. and, and i looked there's nothing there and there was a guy standing next to me and i'm like did you hear it that? wasn't the guy no you know i asked him and he said it wasn't him it blew my mind because the guy was like oh yeah i thought i heard something earlier today too robin williams shoes like they have on display no. like there's so oh much my. here and this casket is made out of money oh look my at this God, bro i didn't even realize that was a casket wait I, you did I it buy this and i said well i guess i'm showing the history of the currency oh, <laughs> oh you thought it was like a glass case oh, of money <laughs> it's a, a coffin made out of money so this whole section right here is for like real popular people oh i just noticed that what <laughs> the what? Willy, the willy wonka hat oh, what? there's actual like stuff in here from some stars i, I was looking there's a basketball over there i was like what is there's so much extra stuff here too you know? yeah and look this is the snow white casket over here and there's a really cool story behind that too this casket was made like right after the movie like a casket maker made it Snow White. yeah and then it was stolen what yeah this casket was stolen and then it was found in a funeral home closet it's in its original condition like that was made in the 1930s bro look how in beautiful condition it is was this what do you mean like a disney like castle oh, yeah, like i don't i don't a casket maker made it like after the snow white movie like oh, okay because you know the story of Snow White, right? I know the story of Snow White, but yeah. that was a cartoon. Well, yeah, it, it was a cartoon, oh, so but like, but it was big. It was a, it was a big cartoon. Yeah. Oh. oh my. And then look, these are the Robin Williams the actual shoes that he wore in RV. This has to be haunted. <laughs> Marilyn Monroe that's what her mausoleum looks like. What would your famous last words be? Use the headstone paper provided to create your own. Ep oh, okay, that's what epitaph is. Huh. It's like your last words. Inside of this box. They have papers with people's last words. Really? Yeah. This is my second, actually maybe third go around this area right here. And this is why you have to come here to the National Funeral Museum and just check it out for yourself because there's so much to see, so much that I didn't even get to show in, in either of the videos that I made here. At first glance, when you look at this, you may think to yourself, it's just a really nice decoration. This is called a morning, not morning, morning shadow box. And that is a deceased person's hair. And the morning family would put them in these boxes and hang them up at their house. It was very popular in the 19th century. I don't really see any other cultures doing this. I mean, I could be wrong. Morning jewelry. This is made from deceased people's hair wow this is amazing i didn't get to really see this the last time can't show you everything you're gonna have to wait for that video it's pretty awesome i have no idea when i'm gonna release it see that woman right there morning dresses yeah she scared the poopy out of me she did too this by far is probably my favorite casket right here and there's a really weird story behind why this casket was made into a not two but three person casket now i did mention this story on you know my actual video that i recorded here and i have a very thorough explore of the national funeral museum there was a, a child that died and left the parents heartbroke i mean nobody should ever have to bury their child they had this idea the mom and dad because they were so heartbroken to kill each other so the husband was going to kill the wife and then it was going to be like a murder suicide and the husband was going to kill himself now the person that designed this casket knew about this whole master plan come to find out a little bit later on they changed their minds they ended up wanting their money back after the casket was constructed and there we go that's the story behind this casket in a nutshell bronze plated yeah still has some paperwork look order number two three five five 
in Chicago. Met up with another fam. His name's Brian. Came out and brought us some cupcakes. How cool is that? Yeah. Big shout out to his boss too, because she drove like really fast just to get here. <laughs> I posted like a quick Instagram picture and he just wanted to roll the dice, see if I'd be up here. We were getting ready to leave, pulled up. I'm glad he pulled up. Super nice guy. Followed him on IG and uh, hooked him up with a bracelet too. Yeah. What's in there? Open that up. I, I, hopefully, it's some decent uh, picture. I'm so nervous. I'm just... Oh man, this is. What awesome. is that? Oh, it's a picture. Okay. Yes. With that, uh, that's a video that I did. That oh, place. Man. I forget what it is, but. Yo, big shout out to Sugarfoot's Cupcakes. Look. What? Check out the palm trees, man. That winter storm really hurt this side of Texas in their tropical weather. Look who I managed to pick up. My boy Carlos, my boy Al, dropping them off to get a rental car. And Texas is big. There is so much to do out here. But the Houston area that we're in right now, aka H Town, there's not, there's not a lot of stuff. But honestly, it was worth coming out here because of that that funeral museum. I was telling Carlos and Al about it. Awesome, awesome place. You guys got to. You have to go there. Honestly, we emailed the the owners. Like I told you, we're waiting to to hear back if we can, you know, go back at nighttime. Did you guys catch anything during the day? Yeah, actually, yeah. Yeah, we caught some sounds and stuff. It was really cool. We're into the next day, by the way. We had some breakfast. James is not feeling well right now. He, I don't know. What do you think it was? Between the sausage patties. You even said we're next. <laughs> Three or four cups of the fake apple juice machine that I drank from. You're the one that told me the breakfast is banger. I you mean, Omar me, brought me breakfast yesterday, had a bunch of bacon. They didn't have no bacon today. Uh -huh. I will say something funny. We're sitting there and Omar's like, yeah, these, these aren't that good. And then a the lady brings out a tray of brand new sausages. And I'm like, oh, nice. She's like, would you like one? And I'm like, Oh yeah, I love sausage. No, you said I can't ever turn down the sausage. Oh, I can't ever turn down the sausage. <laughs> <laughs> and she started laughing. <laughs> we all started laughing. All right, fam. So I just finished dropping Carlos off. They kind of went and did their own thing. James and I are headed in a completely different location towards San Antonio. But anyways, as I'm driving, I start seeing these signs, and it said something about an apparition. So I pulled in here. Wow, Pecan Grove Apparition Park. History of the Shrine. Like, what is this, bro? Oh, look. Look, it has like a whole sign of the history here. Holy Mother welcomes all. This is kind of cool, but creepy. I guess Mary had spoke to him to create this. And this is done in honor of what had happened that day. She's pretty creepy looking. Well, this is a really neat place. I guess people come here and, and say prayers. Wow, look, there's candles. Well, somebody was recently here. This must be a very popular place. When I see an apparition, I was like, so it was a good apparition, okay? Nothing nothing creepy or scary. A little creepy. Any kind of dolls and statues are creepy, in my opinion, to, to me. This man found peace in what he did here. I'm sure he's helped a lot of people along the way. What's this? Jesus is stripped of his clothing. Jesus is nailed to the cross. Jesus dies on the cross. Jesus is taken down from the cross. Jesus is laid in the tomb. Yeah. Look at all these the candles. Yeah. See all the candles well, on the ground? We should come back here at night, dude, and film a video. Like <laughs> an actual explorer. That would actually be cool. Crazy. Bullet holes here on that sign. Might not be the best decision. I mean, it's a park, though. What is this? Look, healing water. Look, wait, what are these? They have holy water here. Well, it says healing water. Oh yeah. Wow, what? Yeah. How can you stumble upon something like that? I don't know, man. This was cool. We just came across something very disturbing. As I'm pulling out of this apparition park, it's a deer. It's a deer? Yeah, it probably maybe it got hit on that road and it's then a deer. Yeah, it's it's a buck. Somebody could have maybe shot it and then it just which that's sad if that happened. Why would they do that and just leave it there? Some people just do that. They hunt for sport and oh my Yep. What is up fam? So we're into probably like a day or two. I haven't had a whole lot of time to vlog. Ooh. We're at a haunted hotel right now. It's called the Faust. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I'm going to show you around a little bit. It was built in 1929. James and I were doing a live stream a couple days ago. We spent two nights here, but this elevator opened on its own during the live stream. There was nobody inside it. You can hear what clearly sounds like a whisper saying, get in. And it was neither James or I 
that made that voice. Right before that, too, I was talking about this little girl that haunts this floor. She's eight years old, very, very playful spirit. As I'm talking about this little girl spirit, we hear a mom in the distance. I don't know if the camera caught it or the, you know, the live stream caught it, but James and I both heard it. We did confirm with the front desk that there was no children that night. Been doing a lot of filming, so I haven't had much time to edit day by day like I usually do. So yeah, this is gonna be kind of like a compilation vlog of our Texas trip, I guess. So that's how you spell the name, the Faust. This is the, uh, ooh. Third dimension, third dimension, third dimension. I guess I should push a button here before I get stuck in elevator. I've been stuck in elevators before. I love old hotels. And they have this really neat old phone booth right here. Check that out. It's built right into the wall. Probably like a nice quiet area for people to use the phone. It's not a working phone, by the way, but maybe at one time there was, yeah, there had to have been one. I didn't really get to show this place off in our videos, but this is, they say it's a haunted pub. Dude, that was some crazy SHIP, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'll be honest with you, like your room, the room you had at first, yeah, you know, it's haunted everything, but nothing like my the first room, bro. I have to agree with you. I haven't asked you yet about your night. In so we did something pretty different on this adventure, something that we haven't ever done before. I spent the night in one room, James spent the night in another, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna give each other footage. For example, like it goes from my room to his room and then on the next night for part two we switch rooms and then I give him some of my footage from you know his room I haven't yet looked at my footage James said that he woke up to a phone call and that was the first night that was the first night right mm -hmm. you woke so up. they basically said we were just do uh, checking up on you to make sure everything's okay I'm like yeah that's fine what why do you ask and they're like well we had a guest come up to us and told us that there was a door that was open and they peeked in and there was a person sleeping there apparently they shut the door for me mm. um, but they wanted to do a check on me just to make sure I was okay I don't know how long for I guess was sleeping with his door open that's oh, great. I didn't leave the door open bro could you imagine like if yeah. there was the wrong person they could have rob me they could have like tried to grab in bed and grab my booty or something like you never know <laughs> so i knew of this that that's the room that i'm waking up from today what are you doing bro like i'm trying and these scratches on my phone because these were not here last night they were not on there and i didn't drop my phone really? those scratches bro you have a whole crack on your phone what yeah you can't see it no i yeah. mean what the hell wait do you have a screen protector uh is it like one of those glass spring uh, screen protector i wish yeah bro your whole phone is cracked bro what, how did the f i only thought that rivers like this existed in florida and i was so wrong they have a spring-fed river here in texas wow this is so nice and the water is really clear what are you doing? <laughs> I think I found something that belongs to you, James. Uh, bitch. <laughs> I knew you were gonna do that. This is awesome. I'm gonna Instagram story this. Now, unlike in Florida, if you go to a place kind of similar to this, chances are you have to like pay a place to allow you on with a kayak. This is accessible to pretty much anyone. Mm -hmm. Like all these people are out here and it's just really sad. I mean, at least they don't mess with the homeless people and they just kind of leave them be. Like yeah. back in Florida where I live, they. <laughs> They give homeless people trespassing tickets and take them to jail Jesus. for things like that. There's tents everywhere. Dried blood on what? it. Um, Bloody fork? Yeah, like a fork laying on the ground with like dried like blood on the ground next to it. Like skulls, animal skulls like laid out in little patterns. So you don't know. Oh, like, so they're doing some kind of like crazy. Yeah, I don't know what people are doing. Either witchcraft or voodoo or something probably. But this is like, if you just look around, yeah. you're like fucking out here. <laughs> yeah. And I've actually ran into people out here. If you look online on like, I think it's Yelp or something. There's people writing about how they've been chased out of these woods by people with knives. What? It's eerie, especially when the sun sets and this is like pitch black. Oh my God. But it's spooky just like this. I also heard a scream here one time. Like you did? someone from the woods screaming when I was in the barn. Do uh, homeless people live here or? I've ran into people in the past that were living here. Huh. But I'm not worried about anything like the screams and all that as much as I'm worried about maybe some ticks. 
Are there gonna be some ticks here? Cause I'm not wearing underwear. <laughs> As y'all know, I'm a free baller, but apparently, like for Omar, it, it James inspired me. Free balling you. Oh, it got burned down. Oh, it caught a fire. Somebody burned it down. Bro, that's insane. So this is the barn where you found like that blood and stuff. Yeah, bloody fork, bones. Even the trees charred up. Hey, check this out. Look at those trees up there. I found a fork. Oh wow. Oh shit. I know what that spoon is used for. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, Eating yeah. soup? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Colin was saying that he found some bones in this area over here. <laughs> We're about to find some, some of James's bones. Too. <laughs> over everything. What? There's something in the woods over there. Oh, yeah, that's part of the zoo, too. It's, oh, okay. It's this whole area. <laughs> oh, hey! oh, I see book cracks. <laughs> Easily see my James line. Back there. I think we're in a cage right now. This is a caged off area. It's hard to tell what kind of animals they had in here. Oh, someone's living back here, dude. Oh, yeah. Someone's living back here. So I talked to a guy who was living here and said that they do witchcraft rituals. Oh, so that's uh, probably that what it was. So that's yeah. what it was. Okay, I thought it was either rituals but or voodoo stuff. You don't know, like, what the has happened out here because of this. Yeah, you don't know for sure. We can only before. guess. What's this place called? Coxville Zoo. Coxville Zoo. Boy, they ain't that just uh... <laughs> <laughs> half chub at the Coxville. Superintendent. Okay. Super okay? I'm liking being behind Colin so he can run into the spider yeah, web for me. But well, he does have a spider on his arm. Yeah, I practically attract them at this point. Is that what it is? Your hair's right oh, in it. Oh, oh my God! <laughs> there it is right there. They're like, here I is. I'm like, of course I'll walk up front. Let's go. <laughs> Thanks for taking one for the team, Colin. I asked you, you tell me what happened. They said no. I said, are you happy? Are you happy? Uh, are you happy it burned down? And they said, uh, said no. I would not be happy either. Yeah. Never seen that here before. I'm trying to guess what kind of cages these are. Maybe, maybe some kind of cats. You see any like toys in there or anything? Dinosaur just look like not the ones that you like. <laughs> you gotta imagine this was all zoo. Yeah. But it was in the '60s. It was so long. What's the story about the animals? A lot of them died. There's a lot of abuse here too. Apparently, from what I've been told from people that yeah. work at different history centers in town, they were just left here. Some of them were, and that's why this place went abandoned, it, it went bankrupt, and the owner just left. Do you know about when that was? 60 something, 60? Okay. so a long time ago. I think somebody's living over there. Oh, you know what I mean? Because that's, that's an old train car. Or that's like a train a, car? That's what I was telling you about. Like, you know those like P.T. Barnum, like, cell, like Yeah. Like, no way. Is there anybody over there? Can we come over? We can leave you alone if you want. Remember I was telling you about people with knives out here? That's what I did. Yeah, well, please, I got plenty of sticks right here. Dude, someone's legit living in here. Oh, you weren't kidding. Somebody in there? Hello? Oh, uh, no, they're not there. God, do you know like, what's freaking body is in there? There's the cage, like the. Yeah. Whoa. Wait, so that was wheels on the gra on the bottom. That was part of like a train car. Yeah. It's like one of those things that they would wheel. Uh, For the circus. Animals like around it. horses or something. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. There was a fire right here. I wonder if they did that to try to keep warm. Oh. Sh oh no! Don't look over there. Oh. Saw a bucket back there with something unpleasant. Oh, somebody. Yeah. What is this? Some garbage. Hello? There's somebody over there, but I didn't see anybody. My friend, I got lost. 
It's so easy to hide in these woods. I mean, the way everything's at. The way everything's just so cluttered in here. Don't go over there, though. I heard somebody. Really? A person? Yeah. They, they were like, hey. But I didn't see anybody, though. Maybe it's a spirit, bro. I swear, nah. in that tent, bro, I, I heard a whisper right behind me. Maybe it was an animal. That's trippy. Oh, this is so cool. I've been here a lot. I really wanted to take these guys here because genuinely I think this is one of the most haunted places in the city that I live in. Technically we're north. But I was sitting right over there in that kind of veranda area filming a music video this one time and I looked out over into this parking lot and I saw what looked like an elderly guy uh, with a tan Buick sitting in that parking lot like leaning into the car and I was in here with like my, my friends you're we filming this video and I saw the guy look up like this right at me and I hid behind the thing I was like oh who the hell is that like this place has been closed for years uh, I told all my friends they thought that someone was like gonna come try to steal shit from us do something and my friend finally goes around the corner and he's like dude there's nobody in the parking lot and I'm like what like, so you, you clearly it was, saw it I think it was a ghost of a maybe one of the residents that were here before yeah but I mean I don't know how a car could have a life force but if, if you look here there's really only one entrance and exit to this parking lot area. And if he would have turned his car on and drove away, we would have, you would have seen it. it. Yeah, this is the only way in and out. And the guy was just gone. And I know it was right there in this area. He was in a tan Buick. I saw him leaning in and he looked up right at me. I'm trying to get a hold of the owners of this place to grant us permission to go in and weren't able to. But we figured we'd drive by and kind of check the place out, at least from the outside. But yeah, man, these doors for years were just open. They were just wide open? Yeah. Wow. Like you can. There was not even any glass or anything. None of these boards were here. Nobody really owned the place. Yeah, they the boarded it all up. Very creepy, though, inside. So sad to go in. Sometimes this happens. It seems to be happening a lot in Texas. That's why we reached out to some of you guys on Twitter. A lot of you did reach out, but I mean, I don't think people realize, like, Texas is huge. Like, sometimes you'll drive out to a location that's hours away. It's not what you think it is, and then you end up finding somewhere else, and it's three hours away. Yeah, there's a lot of beautiful places around here, though. Texas is probably one of my favorite states. That is the story of the state. The amount of times that I've driven places, four or five hours. And then you get there, up, and it's like, is this? <laughs> like, I'm not going to break in anywhere. No. But.